Let's factor the equation x squared minus 5x minus 6 equals 0. And we'll use these rules here to factor the equation. First, we want to set up a skeleton equation to help guide us here. That'll look like this. Next, we need to figure out what signs we're going to put here in our skeleton. We have this negative here on the middle and the last term. So if the middle and the last term are negative up here, we should put a positive and a negative. So now that we've done that, we want to find the factors for that last term, this negative 6 here, and they should add up to give us the middle term. For 6, we could think of the factors as 1 times 6 and 2 times 3. And we know one of these is going to be negative here. So if we had 1 times negative 6, that would add up to the middle term, negative 5 here. So it looks like we'll want to have x times the negative 6 and then the 1 here. But we can check our work to make sure we've done this correctly using the FOIL method. So first terms, x times x, x squared, plus the last term here, x times negative 6x, that's negative 6x, plus that inside term, 1 times x, just x, and then the last term, 1 times the negative 6. So that's just negative 6, and all that equals 0. These terms are similar here. Let's put those together, and we end up with x squared, and then we have negative 6x and 1x, essentially. So we get negative 5x here, and then we have our negative 6. All that equals 0. That's the same as up here. So we have factored this equation x squared minus 5x minus 6 correctly. Now let's find the values for x. That If we put those values in, it would make this entire side 0, make this a true statement. So we could say x plus 1 equals 0, and then that gives us x equals a negative 1. Likewise, we could say x minus 6 equals 0, x equals 6. So if you put negative 1 in for x and you do the math, this entire side, it's going to equal 0. Likewise, if you put 6 in for x and you do the math, all of this equals 0. So we've solved for x squared minus 5x minus 6. So this is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared minus 5x minus 6 equals 0. You could have also used the quadratic equation and you would have gotten the same answer. Thanks for watching.